Welcome everyone. So today we're looking at creating a single choice set activity using H5P on WordPress. And just like the name says, it is a single choice. So you have a question and you have three options and you have to choose one correct answer. The difference, the difference between this and the normal multiple choice is that first, once you select an answer here, it's locked in. There is no going back. And also in this activity, you have the option when you're setting it up to move it automatically. So if the user selects an answer, they get some time to look at whether their answer is right or wrong, and then they're moved to the next question. So let's take a look very quickly. So what is the closest planet to Earth? I know the answer is Mercury. I'm going to click on it. It's going to play a sound effect and then move me to the next question. It moved me to the next question. You can make it you can make it manual the way that it goes from one question to the next, but even if you make it manual, still once you select a question, you cannot undo your selection. It's locked in. How many earths can fit inside the sun? I got it wrong gonna move me to the next question and what is three plus three six okay so I can either retry because I didn't get a full score or I can look at the solution and have a chance to look at the solutions that's it let's take a look at how to create this activity let's get started so we're creating a single choice set activity using H5P on WordPress. So the first thing you want to do is come down to your H5P plugin and you want to add a new activity. And from the module list, you want to choose the module called single choice set. If you don't have it installed, you can click on get to install it and then you can click on it to create the activity so let's give let's give this a title and that is single choice set single choice set and the first field we have is the question what is the question so let's give it a question here and our first question is what is the closest planet to Earth? And I want to make it bold. Size, just, we have normal, that's it. So this is our question, and then we add our multiple choice. So the first alternative, which is the first choice, is always the correct answer. So you, sh you have to put your correct answer into that choice. And then it will be randomized by the activity once it's presented so first option is mercury and that is the correct choice second alternative is venus and the third one will add another alternative because we only have two by default so we'll add another choice and we'll put the moon you can add as many as many choice actually you can only add four you can add you can add four choices in total but we only need three so I'll delete that fourth one and then you have your second question so when you get to the blue window again or box that says question and alternatives we have our second question let's drop our second question in there and our second question is how many earths can fit inside the Sun Let's make this bald first option which is the correct option the correct answer is 1.3 million earths the second option which is not correct 169 earth earths and we'll add one more choice here and we'll say 550,000 earths so we have our second question now what you can do is you can add a question. By default, when you start, it's only got two questions. Let's add a third question here. 
So we add the third question, we have the question and the two choices. So this one is just going to be something very simple, like what is 3 plus 3? And let's make it bold. Let's add another alternative. And 6 is the correct answer. And the second one will be 7. And then 9. So now we have our three questions and the correct answers for each question. Let's go down to the settings. Overall feedback, we don't need to change anything. We're not setting any criterias. You could set different score ranges from 0 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, and so on. And you assign a letter grade or any type of label you want. But we won't do that. Let's look at the behavioral settings. And the first one is the auto continue. That is when the user makes a choice, he will get um, he will get a quick feedback whether his answer is correct or incorrect. And then he will automatically be continued or moved into the second question. He wouldn't have to click next to go to the next question. So if you uncheck it, then the user would have to manually click next to uh, go to the next question. But whether you have it checked or unchecked, the users cannot change their answers. Once they choose one of the multiple choices, they cannot choose anything else. Their answers are locked in. So we'll just say auto continue. So auto continue. If the answer is correct, how long will it wait? So we're using here milliseconds. So we're saying 200 milliseconds, which means two seconds. So we'll wait for two seconds and then move on. If the answer is wrong, then the user gets to look at, um, look at his submitted answer, whether it's wrong or right for three seconds and then it jumps to the next question. So we'll leave those. If you wanted to give if you wanted to give the user um, longer time to look at or you want to give them control then you can change it here. Enable sound effects. I like the sound effects on this uh, activity. Sounds really good. So I'll leave it, enable retry, let the user retry if they don't get um, full score. And enable show solution, yes, they can show solutions. And pass percentage, 100% to pass the quiz. So if you had 100 questions, they would need 100 out of 100 to pass. I'll leave it at 100 because we only have three questions. So if they get three of them correct, means they passed. The last box here is for overrides. So you can click here and you can override the default prompts and buttons that come with the activity like next question, so show solution. If you wanted to add your own prompts you would just change instead of next question you can say go to next question and that would change but we'll leave it or if you just wanted to change the language you can just choose another language and that would change the prompt language we're not changing anything here we like it as it is we'll leave it automatic we won't touch that so we have our three questions with their answers and I don't want to display a toolbar below my content. I'll uncheck that and I'll create my activity now and see what it looks like. Okay, good. So we have our question, we have our choices, and we have a progress bar down here that is saying one of four steps. So three of the steps are the questions and the fourth step is the results. and the user can turn off the sound effects but I'll keep them on so what is the closest planet to earth 
so the answers have been scrambled so let's click on the correct answer here mercury we should hear a sound effect and we should wait or the wait should be two seconds and then it will move on to the next question here we go okay so exactly what we wanted next question how many earths can fit inside the sun let's give this the wrong answer and this should then wait for three seconds I think we said it so it makes a sound effect it plays a sound effect a sound effect that it is wrong and it also shows you the correct answer and the last one what is three plus three and the last page we get our our results because I didn't get a perfect score I can retry or I can just look at the results here and it shows me a list of the results for each question okay to put this on your website you should or you have to grab the short code here you can copy it and you can put it either on a post or on a page so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new post okay this is our new post let's give it a title call it number 19 and we'll give it a name single choice set single choice set and we want to add a new block and this block should be a short code block so we can accept our short code and we paste our short code into here and that's it we publish our post and we can take a look at our post to see what it looks like looks really nice it's interactive sound effects and nothing to complain about here fits really nicely in the page so what is the closest planet to earth I like the sound effect how many earths can fit inside the Sun and what is three plus three let's give this correct answer so we got a full score three out of three it's not asking us to retry or to show our answers so this is a, a standalone activity you can have as many questions as you want but they all have to be single choice set questions if you wanted to include this as part of a bigger test with different types of questions you, you can include it into a question set or an interactive workbook if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.